Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Ralph Nickerson. Last year, the Dayton Broncos started the season with a nine-game winning streak before dropping their last two games. Tonight, they open their 2013 campaign against the Knights of Fort Bend Elkins. These two teams met in their opener last year, and the Broncos took that game 17-6. But this is a more experienced Knights nice team, especially at the quarterback position. Junior Jonathan Giles can beat you in the air or with his legs. Right off the bat, the nice defense gets the turnover. Elkins follows up with a double dose of Skinner Brothers. First, Romilius goes right up the middle. Then Giles connects with Roman and Skinner to put the nice on the board and Elkins takes an early 7-0 lead. The Broncos go three and out. Giles spent the offseason working on his touch playing six on six and is paying off. First down, Elkins. Xavier Burns finds the corner. Touchdown, Knights, 14-0, just like that. Elkins is playing great on both sides of the ball. Another three and out for the Broncos. Here's a big improvement in Giles' game, the long ball. Shahid Kashipa makes the catch. Check out the fight for more yards. First and goal from the eight yard line. Giles decides to keep it himself. He gets to the corner, touchdown. The Knights go up 21-0 with six and a half minutes left to go in the half. Tabino Kiki gets the sack and the Broncos will have to punt. This Elkins front line is very physical. Look at the push up front. Timothy Jackson comes out of the pile. Another nice touchdown. Dayton finally gets something going. Jacarius Kenner hits Kyle McBride on the slant, and McBride does the rest. 65 yards later, he's in the end zone. Touchdown Broncos. The score is now 28-7. Giles fakes the handoff. He finds some room. You're not going to catch Jonathan Giles in the open field. Touchdown, Elkins. They go into the half up 35 to 7. Giles comes out of halftime, picking up just where he left off. Jackson gets his second trip to the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. They now lead 41 to 7. Later in the third, the Knights are back in the red zone. Giles outruns the defense to the corner. Touchdown. Giles finished the night with just 91 yards passing, but he had 147 yards on the ground with three touchdowns rushing and three touchdowns in the air. This one to Darian Woods. Dayton was able to get one more touchdown to make the final score 55 to 13. I'm Ralph Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.